Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to review another transform for you guys, but this time we have from the Unicorn series. So today I'm going to be reviewing is this. Yes, I have here is the Transformers Armada Deluxe Hotshot with Jolt. Now, before I'm going to continue this, this video is not a sponsor, but it's a shout out to the Retro Exchange. If you want to request to, you know, to buy something from them, you have to make a request, so yeah. And also, by the way, this video is not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors, so that pretty much does it. Now, Hotshot was a new character for the Armada series, and... And I wasn't ever a big fan of the Armada. Now, Hotshot comes with accessories, his little motor piece, and a missile, which is the behind the... Which is the back of the vehicle mode, but I will show you that later. First, I want to show off his minicon partner, Jolt. So here it is Jolt, what it looks, what he looks like. He transformed into a just a basic helicopter, which is pretty good. I wish they would give him some more, you know, more color instead of like red. It just had like a lot of red and just a little bit of like silver and a little bit of black, which is representing the headlights. Sadly, no. Um, landing gear, you can see the head. The only, uh, the only thing something can move is just the propellers. Flies around. And this doesn't connect anything, it's just sit there, just resting there. It is kind of sucks. Uh, he does have a Minicon port right here, which, if I can bring hot shot, you can plug in, well, two Minicon hole ports. You can plug it in the motor right there, right there on both sides and even in the back of the robot mode but I'll show you that during the you know in the robot mode now to transform um, Jolt into his robot mode is pretty easy and simple first thing first you wanted to do is come to the front and you wanna well not front um, unpick well fold out the arms first flip out the legs uh, these thing does this just is together. It doesn't you know separate it. So yeah, flip this back piece right here Make sure to angle him to stand Yeah, it's gonna be difficult with this Whatever and here you have Jolt in his robot mode his robot mode is looks so looks okay I guess problem is he has some difficulty standing up I wish they could give us some more paint to him. You can see the head sculpt right here. And for the Minicon symbol, it's right there. You can barely see it. There it is. So, yeah. Alright, now I'm going to transform Jolt back to his vehicle mode because we need him for his hot shot. shot. There he is. Painting, sculpt, and detail on this figure looks okay, but a lot of people don't like this figure. And here's the reason why. There's a lot of issue with this figure. In the robot mode, it looks terrible. But in vehicle mode, yeah, it's even worse. It doesn't have the one piece, it doesn't have something, it doesn't have nothing to, you know, the cover up this back piece right here, which it is kind of um, sucks. So yeah, he does roll pretty well. I want to mention one thing, he does roll pretty well. I don't know why the camera's not even focused. Like, he does have the Autobot symbol right here. is painted in, not, you know, printed in our stickers. This is, this is like a good quality plastic back in the day compared to figures we have now. Yeah, like lighter. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have nothing to compare with, so yeah. So like I said, you can you can use Jolt to plug in any port for the Minicon port. So let's see. There's one in the back on the... Plug in right here. 
we could plug in here. He does have a gimmick on the motor, so if I can go to here, or probably pre-press this down and yeah, these will pop open, which it will be like a weapon or something. I have no idea. And plus this will plug into Jolt, but it's much better if you can. You can use this one as for Jolt weapon, you know, pop around. But you need you need the motor for hot shot, so move Jolt out of the way. Yeah, the gimmick on this one is kinda stupid, but these will be the feet on the robot mode, so uh, the transformation, yeah. you have to put jolt in so you can open this up. Then you remove the motor. First thing first, come by to the doors, open this up, both side, flip this down, open these pieces, the roof of the car is in a peg here, here, like these so you see. Flip this, make sure this piece right here fold down like that. Turn out the arms. Do the same thing on the other side. On split the legs, flip it around 90 degrees like that. Flip his visor up like that. And there you have Armada Jolt in his robot mode, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, the robot mode is not that great. It's got it looks stupid. I don't know why the Hasbro created like this. Like, can't they just give him like head articulation or something, or or waist articulation? This is a good quality plastic on this figure. Like I said. But this figure is not that great. The only thing you could do is just up and down the visor, that pretty much that's it. But the rest of the articulation, shoulder can go in and out, bend at the elbow, it can swivel only like this for now. Move the arms out of the way. No waist swivel, the, the legs is on a ball joint, so it does go forward, a lot of backwards. Bend at the knee in this angle, yeah, it kind of sucks. The angle is on a, this can go 360 degrees on a ball joint and no, and no um, ankle pivot, so that's kind of sucks. He does have another feature in the robot mode, and for this, um, there's no way to store it. So I just, just I, I think you could give it to Joe. Now, for the feature on him, there's a piece. Of, there's another peg right here, like I said. You grab, you plug it this in right here. What it does, it will, it will flip this one. Will be the cannon and shoot. So if I, up, oh, there to see. Let's try this again, but without the missile this time. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do that again, but this time with the missile, and hopefully I don't lose it. Did I plug it in? Come on, why are you not shooting? Come on. There you go. Yeah, this is what kind of more stupider than ever, but it is what it is. Am I right? All right, I'm going to give Jolt the final posing and give you guys my final result, and pretty much that's it. Overall, Armada Jetfire and... Well, not Jetfire. Armada Hot Shot and Jolt is, a, is an okay figure. It's just a transformation and it's easy, but the roller mode is so terrible. Yeah, it's not it's not a good figure, but Man, what the hell the creator is this? Alright, so unfortunately this is the only Armada figure I can review for you guys, but don't worry, I will review more. If you guys want to see another Transformer review I did, go ahead and check it out. And until next time you guys, I'm out.